everybody, uh, Trevor E. Atkinson here, uh, the, uh, the director of, uh, the, the, uh, Art of Pimpin, and, uh, today we are going on a bit of an excursion in the back of an Uber at the moment, and we're at a, a light, but, um, we're gonna go to my hometown of Bath, England. See, I, uh, I thought while I was down here visiting my parents and sister, I would also take some video to act as a sort of, uh, uh visual whilst I, uh, tell you what I've been up to since The Art of Pimping. Uh, I apologize, of course, for the quality of the sound, but as you see, I am recording this in the back seat of a car. Uh, what can I say? It's guerrilla filmmaking. Uh, anyway, uh, during the, um, end of principal photography, and, uh, right about the time I made my, uh, final interviews, after two years of following Dre and his cohorts about Sarasota. In fact, I, I think it was the day I, uh, interviewed Dre with Sally, uh, in their new apartment. Uh, it was that very day that my wife made the trek from our modest flat in London, alone, uh, left the kids at home, thankfully, and, uh, in essence, um, came and rescued me. The documentary was uh, essentially shot. I'd, I'd already be begun editing, going from hotel room to hotel room over the years, two years. So, um, it was time. It was time to go back home. And uh, with two documentaries in the can, uh, the other one was, uh, it's about the uh, Locusts and Majorca. It won, it won several awards, but uh, I'm still in debt on that one, quite frankly. But... <laughs> I did come back uh, to the BBC, the Beeb. Um, only uh, then, uh, after all that time, I had uh, more work and responsibility uh, with the success of everything, but um, I was home. This is me uh, now at the BBC. This is me now, but uh, I'm not at the BBC now. I must say, it always uh, surprises me how little this building changes over the years. It's not broke, I suppose. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, they say. Uh, which is uh, the credo, I suppose. Uh, or it should be, uh, for me. And the nature of this video. You see, I grew up here in beautiful Bath. Uh, I say here because by this time I'm sure I'm editing uh, footage that I will be gathering later on today. But uh, every time uh, I do come down here... Uh, I would bring Denise and the girls uh, home for the holidays uh, to see my parents, and uh, when I did, I would wonder why I ever left. It's absolutely lovely in every capacity, and it's a wonderful place to raise a family. Hell, I should know. This is where I and my sister were raised. Yes, if it ain't broke. And with the success of the Pimpin' documentary, and uh, also Dre's screenplay getting made into a movie... It sort of secured me financially for a bit. Um, then when YouTube came into things, YouTube became popular, um, so did I. And uh, Denise asked me over Thanksgiving about seven years ago why I couldn't maintain a YouTube channel in Bath, where I seemed to be happiest. And uh, YouTube was our primary source of income then, and we were doing well, so, you know, why not? Well, I, I take forever to do things, um, and that was over a year ago. But um, we are moving back here uh, in the next two months, actually. We, uh, we are actually uh, coming back. We'll... We'll be all moved out by then, and uh, my patrons and subscribers actually helped to fund the move a little bit, uh, so it was, uh, it was a good thing, ultimately, uh, even though it took a while. Also, we, we had good reason not to move back right away, as about six months after Denise's great suggestion, uh, my son, Anders, was born. He's six now, and... Just like his father, just like his daddy, he um, he wants to make movies. Uh, in fact, here's some footage from last Christmas that he shot of the English countryside on our drive back to Bath. Well, 
takes time to get good, I suppose. <laughs> but, uh, yes, um, this is my home. Uh, it always was. It was the home of my father, and now it'll be the home to my family. My, my two girls, Leave and Philippa, uh, they were eight and nine when Denise came to America to bring me home, and uh, they're 23 and 24 now. Um, it is uh, 2019 at the time of this recording, and uh, they are staying in London because that's where their lives are. So, But this is where our lives are going to be, a pretty expensive spot. One we can afford, though, as it's uh, it's it's expensive because it's on um, historic Gay Street in a building created by John Wood the Elder. I would like very much for Anders Andre Atkinson to follow in his father's footsteps, as that's what's happened with this building. John Wood the Elder designed it, but passed away a month later. But it was built by his son, John Wood the Young. Uh, we're right above the Museum of Costume, and the circus, as it is called, uh, that we are going to be living in. Um, so I don't know if if uh, the little chap will uh, go into show business, but um, if he does, he will be in just the right place to let such a desire flourish, I dare say. Uh, sure, it's not a real circus, but still. <laughs> but uh, the big question about Bath... Uh, is it actually a bath? And, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, still standing in town here are the Roman baths, a very decadent tourist destination. And the thing that always troubled me is that water. I mean, well, maybe not so much the green, ugly, disgusting water, as the juxtaposition of the visiting people trying to emulate the Roman emperors of yesteryear by luxuriating beside the bath, but no one dares put their feet in, let alone actually bathe, as it would probably kill them. <laughs> actually, definitely, definitely, they, they tell you not to go in the water, and if you do, they don't have to punish you. But yes, I'm, uh, I'm on my way now to Bath to make a video about it, uh, one that you've uh, just spent a bit of time watching. Very meta, isn't it? Hey? <laughs> and also, uh, I'm going up there to sign a few papers on the, uh, the new home in our circus. And uh, although I'm, I'm looking forward to the, uh, this next phase of my life as a more present father, I can't help but think about Dre and Sally. Maybe they're out there in the ether, I don't know. But a strong man is nothing without a strong woman, and if you have one, why, you can do anything. Anyway, chaps, that's going to do it for this video. We are taking a few months off to move in, and uh, then we'll be back with weekly content on this channel, albeit from our new home here in Bath. So be sure to give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and if you haven't yet, watch and or buy The Art of Pimping. Uh, we've recently given it a Blu-ray restoration, so look out for that. And it's available everywhere now that uh, fine documentaries are sold or streamed.